What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Let's Rock Podcast. And, you know, we're doing things a little different here. You know, we got a separate segment going on called Marriage Mondays. As you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I got my wife, Kawana, here. And basically what this segment slash show is going to be about, basically, um, a lot of people out there who may be struggling with marriage, contemplating marriage, we're here to discuss uh, different issues from um dating to relationship to now being married, kind of navigating different issues we go through and answer any questions, any issues that, um, you know, come across from the audience. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys comment. Uh, ask us any questions. We'll definitely uh, speak on some topics um, and any questions you guys may have. So the very first show, what we're going to be speaking on is, is it okay to hide some things um, from your partner? Uh, this is this is tough because um, I know we've had this conversation before, and we've had it off air, kind of on air, to where uh, we've known each other long enough to know how, how you know, especially me, how I react to certain things, and I'm learning that both as of us, yeah, like yeah, both of us, and, um, and and we've had this conversation, you know, uh, on air, off air. Is it okay to kind of hide things from each other? Um, is there a certain way that it could be said? Um, knowing each other's triggers, is it something that, you know, you'd rather not say to your partner, you're afraid to kind of uh, make it feel like it's not being heard, not being listened to, unimportant. I know we've had that issue before. Uh, the way I react to things. And let's make it make it clear. Like, what kind of things are we talking about hiding? We're not talking about, you know, what what exactly are we talking about when we say, are we? Is it okay to hide things? So you mean like hold things in hold and things just not in. say them? Yeah, hold okay. things in. Um, I know with us sometimes, uh, maybe clarifying certain conversations. Uh, you know, maybe after a blow up. Um, Certain decisions, certain, uh, I guess, things we didn't like within each other. Because let, let's be real. Um, it's just some conversations we're not going to like that we're going to have. So um, the main question is, is it okay to avoid those conversations? Uh, we'll, we'll start with you. What, are you. what are your thoughts on that? Well, I know the right answer is that it's not okay to avoid those conversations. At some point, you're going to have to have them because if you don't, it's going to be like a boiling pot and eventually it's just going to blow up, boil over. But me personally, I like to avoid conflict as much as possible. Like I don't like conflict. And if I know that I have something to say that he's not going to like, and that's going to cause a whole, you know, drawn out argument or drawn out conversation, then sometimes I'll just keep it to myself. But the problem with that is usually he can tell when I'm holding something in. So he kind of, pesters me or bugs me until I, I say it. But sometimes I don't have something anything to say and he still does that, but that's neither here nor there. But I do have a tendency to try to figure things out on my own, hold it in until I'm over it so that I don't have to cause a a, a disagreement. Yeah, and I know on my side, uh, you know, I don't know if a lot of men, you guys feel like your mind is constantly in defense mode. You're just waiting for that uh, your woman to come tell you either an issue or you're ready to jump on it immediately or fix it. Or I know sometimes you're in defense mode in, in terms of maybe you're putting that wall up to where, you know, your 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 partner can't really come to you on certain issues because your reactions. Just because it's not happening to you, you're not going to react in that way. And sometimes that can be a uh, barrier between the two as far as communication and being open with a lot of it. So I know for me, as a man, constantly being in defense mode, I feel like strategically, I don't, I do kind of hold things in and not say anything because I'm like, oh, right. I, I come up with the solution myself. So it's like, oh, it's not a big deal anymore. I know for me, I can turn them uh, uh, a, mount, a memorial to a mountain and kind of uh, overreact on certain things. And I know 
uh, maybe I could be a little bit better when it comes to being a little bit more clear to say, hey, this is this is what the problem. I came up with a solution. Maybe maybe that those type of conversations um, can be a little bit more helpful. I think you do a good job of telling me how you feel about right. certain things. Like I know really quickly how he how you feel about whatever's happened. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I don't necessarily understand what brought it on. Like I might say something that to me, I didn't mean any harm by it, but for him, it made him feel a type of way. So he's going to, I think you do a really good job of telling me how you're feeling in, in the moment. You don't, you don't really, you don't hold it to yourself or hold it in. I don't think, and maybe you do. And maybe I just can't tell, but you always let me know how you feel about something that I did or something that I said. Right. Even I, if sometimes I might not, like I said, I might not think that it was a big thing, but, or that I meant to say it in the way that you thought I said it. So that's always something that we have to go back and kind of talk it out to figure out, you know, where I was coming from, where you're coming from. And I know even when I tell you that sometimes you don't, you're like, Oh, that's not where you were coming from. You meant it this way, you know? right? Right. I, I do agree with that. I think I feel like sometimes I do, kind of, uh, and sometimes I'll even express how I feel, but maybe like an hour or even a day after, I'm like, ah, I didn't mean it that way. And 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 let us know. Do you guys go through that? Like, uh, you may in the moment speak on uh, a certain feeling or expression just to get it out, just just to. Like I, like I always say, get on to the next problem, right? And then the next day, you really think about it and to say, I didn't feel this way, but I feel this way. And I, I, I do do a lot of you men go through, go through that. Um, I, I know sometimes that can kind of possibly irk you, your partner, right? Uh, and I know for me, it can irk me because sometimes when the shoe's in the other foot, I'm like, man, didn't we just have this conversation yesterday? You know, why do we have to keep, you know, rehashing it? So it's a catch-22. It's a real catch-22. And I guess to explain it, is it okay to hide some things from your partner? I get it. You know, I now I now understand it a little bit more. Uh, I know for me, I handle it a different way. What, what are you saying? Now? I mean, I don't think everything has to be said. Like, I'm not one of those people that feels like, you have to say everything that comes to your mind. Right. Um, but then again, I'm, I tend to kind of go towards the, the side of things where you don't make too many waves. Right. But no, I don't think everything has to be said. A lot of times, if you just let it sit with it for a little while, it'll go away anyway. Um, right. And sometimes you'll right. realize, oh, okay, maybe I was overreacting about that. It wasn't that big of a deal. Instead of in, immediately blowing up about it and it becoming a big thing. So how open, in your opinion, should uh, our lady listeners out there be not only opening to possibly listening to a man's thoughts, but also um, giving that grace, giving that, like, not quick to judge, and vice versa to a man? How do you, what, do you, what, what advice would you give to, to, to people that may be struggling with that? I think it's all about understanding your partner. Like after you've been with a person a certain amount of time, you understand them, you understand their heart. You kind of understand where they are, how they feel about you. Cause a lot, I think a lot of times when you react to certain things, it's because you're insecure. Like you might not under, you might not feel secure in your relationship or secure in the moment. And so when the other person says something, you go into defense mode. Right. And you feel right. like you need right. to protect yourself, like what's going on here. But I think when you understand your partner and you get comfortable with them, you know that it's not that they're on the brink of walking out or anything like that. Right. It's just a disagreement. And right. you can learn to approach it in a more calm way, in a more level-headed way, where you can just talk it out. And it, it reminds me of the conversation we had a couple of weeks ago with, with my cousin that said, no matter how bad the disagreement is or how we react in a certain tone, that doesn't change the way we feel about each other. So do you feel like sometimes that is the case where if you have a blow up, it automatically goes to, you know, uh, this isn't going to work out or they're leaving or, and it can kind of 
close that door. Did I mean, I know it happens. Yeah. It happens a lot. But again, I think it's a. it comes down to being on the same page with your partner, having a certain level of respect for your partner and knowing that you're not certain things. You're just not going to say certain lines. You're not going to cross because you, at the end of the day, you still love them. You still want them, you know, you still want, you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to stab them with your words or anything like that. So, you know, it's just, you just have to learn how to respect each other. And a lot of a lot of respect is missing uh, within relationships. I think within communication, um, if you're not respecting each other during the date or uh, through going entering a relationship, um, it's it, it's okay to be able to communicate that and, and voice out your issues. And that, that probably is a good gauge to understand how you guys are going to communicate going forward. Absolutely. You definitely have to get into the uncomfortable conversations. Right. I wouldn't say in the very beginning of the relationship, but right. don't wait until you guys have, you know, decided to be monogamous with each other to, right. to then start to approach the difficult conversations. You have to start having them earlier on so you can see how you guys resolve conflict together. Right. And, 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 and I do think that conflict and conversation is important to have early. Because it, it brings a gauge of like, all right, how is this person going to react? Mm-hmm. Uh, is this person going to respect me enough to acknowledge what I'm trying to say to them? And it's on both sides, you know, mm-hmm. not just one person. Like, okay, you know, fine, and brushing them off. No, I, I, I know for me, I, I, I'm like, um, let's settle this now. Yes. And I know sometimes. <laughs> and I'm very, let me think, let me sit with this for a minute. And we don't have to talk about this. And it burns me up. <laughs> it burns me up when, when that happens because I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't focus. I can't do anything else. Right. Because it and, stops your world. Right. It stops my world because I'm like, oh, I have to time. deal with this yeah, before I, have, I can yeah. move on. Yeah. Right. Right. So, you know, just to kind of end on that note, uh, is that what's going on? Do you guys agree? And I wanted to say one more go thing. Ahead, go ahead. Um, you know, we talked about like how to have having those difficult conversations right. in the beginning. It's a level of respect for your own self too, because now you're a you're you're respecting your own feelings right. and respecting right. yourself enough to let that person know how you feel instead of holding it in because you don't want them to leave. You don't want them to not like you anymore. Right. It's being honest with yourself and being true to yourself and willing to say the things that truly matter to you. Because in the long run, what if you get in a relationship with somebody and you haven't been honest about how you feel, and then one day you flip the switch, and now all of a sudden you want to tell them how you feel, but they're like, "That's not how we've been interacting all this time. How you, you know, why are you going to flip the script on me?" And not only that, I will add to that. I feel like when you let out, it's a sigh of, sigh of relief. Oh, absolutely. A sigh of relief. You feel like you feel the weight, like is, weight off is off shoulder. your shoulder, right? Yeah. And especially if the other person is, is, is acknowledging, like, okay, you know. Uh, and I think also we, we, we can talk about it on a later topic. It's certain reactions mm-hmm. that, you know, should you be getting or not should be getting, right? Um, a person who is clearly maybe brushing you off or clearly isn't, you're not feeling hurt. In that in that conversation, um, so you know, is it okay? Back back to the final point: Is it okay to hide some things from your partner? Uh, <laughs> hold, I like to say hold things. In. Hold things Not in necessarily hide because hiding is a little different. Hiding sounds manipul. It sounds right. sneaky. Right. Hiding sounds sneaky. Right. But if we say, you know, is it okay to hold things in and not, you know, share them with your partner, right? Um, in order to keep the peace or Right. I would say um, start with the baby steps, right? Pick your battles. Pick your battles because I don't want to encourage our our men and women out there to start saying, hey, I don't like the socks you're wearing or the shoes you're wearing. Change them. And then, you know, it starts a downward spiral. So I would would start with the baby steps. And if you're not um, used to communicating in this manner, definitely start with the baby steps, right? There's things that have been burning you or bothering you. Uh, there's therapy. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, communicate 
that if you need a mediator to kind of communicate that with you and your partner, definitely be open to that. Uh, I know some sometimes you know we're in the media space, the the YouTube space right now. There's a lot of misinformation going on out there, uh, so be very careful what you're listening to and watching. Uh, so also. Uh, give us your ideas. Let us know. Uh, are you? Do you feel it's right to withhold? Uh, we'll call it withhold. We won't call it hide it because you know hide it can be a little bit, you know, sneaky. Yeah. So we'll, we'll call it withholding. Withholding information from your partner. Uh, let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Definitely, definitely uh, click the uh, notification bell. We'll let you know. Um, when we'll be back. This is going to be kind of an every Monday thing. We're going to be having different guests on and definitely, definitely getting other viewpoints on this and other topics. And I don't think I actually introduced myself. It's at the end, but it's okay. Uh, my name's Kawana, by the way. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Well, make sure you guys definitely like, share, subscribe again. And thank you again. This is Marriage Mondays. We're out, y'all. Peace. Mm -hmm.